Hey everybody, my name is Black Track and welcome back to Yakuza 2005 PS2, December 5th, 2005, 10 years later, Chapter 2. Seems like everyone's on their fucking cell phone. Fucking future people. Me and all the other 90s kids, we didn't grow up with your fancy dancy Start flip eating. phones. Prisoner 1240. Letter for you. Letter? First time in 10 years, eh? You'll be released on parole tomorrow. I guess there's someone waiting for you after all. Oh, yeah, bone. So, Chairman, what's the reason for this meeting, on such short notice? nishki has got something on his mind. Bullshit. Hey! Who the hell do you think you are, calling an emergency meeting, Nishki? In the presence of all the affiliate bosses, I'd like to ask the chairman something. There's a rumor that our money in the Toto Bank, all 10 billion yen, was stolen. Is this true? Shut the fuck up. You there. If you're feeding us bullshit, you're gonna lose more than just a finger. Chairman. This information, where did you get it? From Torado, a lieutenant of the Omi family in Osaka. Osaka. We will talk after I get more information. So, 10 billion is really gone? Yes. Stop fucking around! That money's everything the Tojo clan's brought in over the years. Do you know how much blood we shed in order to collect it? You fucking prick. Shimano! Remember who you're talking to. Tojo headquarters. Uh, we'll take care of this matter. Thank you for coming today. Hey, wait! I'm not finished! Ten years. In the ten years you've been in prison, the Tojo clan has changed a lot. I can't even come to pick you up when you get out. About Nishki and Yumi, there are so many things I want to talk to you about. There's also something important I need to tell you. There's a bar called Stardust. I know the owner. His name is Kazuki. Meet up with him. He'll be expecting you. Shintaro Fuma. Wow, 
Well, let's get over to Stardust then. It's actually not even that far from Serena. Or Serena. I don't know why I keep calling it that. From the Serena bar. Um, but, yeah. So, starting in Chapter 2, uh, we get to walk around. But after we beat Prisoner 1356, I think was his name, uh, we get another 1,000 EXP. So, I'm going to level up my... Da -da -da, I think it was my charge kick. I think I saved my, my health. So I like to save the body um, levels for when I need help, because uh, whenever you increase your body, you increase your maximum health, but it also increases the health that you currently have, so it, 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 it heals you a little bit, which is really useful. So we got to find Stardust, but we don't know where that is. So let's go find a, an informant, like Tamora, and uh, maybe he can figure it out. So this guy's telling about a, a conflict between Yakuza, and we're like, I don't know, dude, I just got here. <laughs> uh, you can see the sign right there, it said Stardust, we just passed it. We're gonna head over to the Theater Avenue, or Theater Square, rather. Um, that uh, darked out area in the map, we can't go over there. I heard the victim was a Yakuza, well, something must have happened to some Yakuza. Who knows, who cares? Uh, not really my problem right now, I got, I got shit to do. Oh, that guy wants to fight. Punk ass Abe. <laughs> Punk ass Abe. He's like, you don't look familiar. And Cosmo's like, yeah, I don't really care about you. He's like, yo, I, I got some business with you. And he's like, yeah, I don't want none of this. He's like, so what are you up to? I'm like, I'm looking for a guy named Tamora. Or I'm looking for a bar named Stardust. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter what you pick. The guy is going to question you. He's like, I don't know nobody. Don't know no place. I just want to kick your ass. So you're like, all right, well, then uh, I got nothing else to say to you. He's like, wait, uh, why are you looking for that host spot, huh? You look suspect. Come with me. And then Cosmo is like, why do I gotta do that? And this guy's like, unless you wanna get hurt, you're gonna come with me. So punk ass Abbey is gonna show up, and uh, you're gonna whip his butt because you're Cosmo, and you ain't a little punk ass Abbey. You know what I'm saying? You ain't no little bitch. You no bitch boy. Abbey don't know what what hit him. So we're gonna kick his ass. Get funky. And uh, charge up that kick right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the charge kick, uh, it does more damage when you have heat. Uh, so you're going to build up some heat. And then what you can do is you can uh, hold triangle. And then you can build it up. And it does more damage. As you can see, your heat is draining much faster. But when you hit, it does a lot, a lot more damage. Uh, really useful. But, uh, again... And, of the, of the techniques, that's the least. That's the one I use the least, probably. So once punk ass Abe decides he uh, no longer wants to get his ass handed to him, uh, he's like, "Who the hell are you?" He's like, "You don't want to know." So uh, what the hell are you doing around here? And punk ass Abe is like, oh, "I was looking out for Hoya Boot. <laughs> that controls all the shit around here. <laughs> Someone got killed today. <laughs> I see someone suspect. I I'm supposed to stop them." And Cosmo is like, all right, well, you know, any more informants around here? He's like, oh, yeah, the most famous guy around these parts is a reporter named Aoki. He's on Theater Square. So we're like, all right, cool, we're going to head over to Theater Square then. And uh, don't talk to shit from people you don't know. You got me? And then Abe's like, yeah, yeah, man, whatever. And he, like, sits there petrified in tears. Because uh, Cosmo over here, I almost said Chadzma. Cosmo is Chadzma. That is my little joke uh, about Cosmo because he gets bitches. Chadzma. He's a Chad. And the Cosmo. And here's Kamaki's apprentice. So this bum over here, uh, literally bum, they're lovingly named bums. He works for Kamaki. Now Kamaki is a uh, martial artist master, and you will be meeting him a little later. Uh, and this guy is his apprentice, so he can teach you the basics of uh, certain basic techniques in the game, like shifting, guarding, dodging, that sort of thing. Things that the, the tutorial didn't really go over. Um, for instance, you can only dodge when you're locked onto an enemy, you lock onto an enemy with the R button. R1 button, that kind of thing. Um, you can block with L1. Shifting, I think that's I think that's what it's called by by locking on. Yeah, so shifting is just staying locked onto your target, it's like strafing almost in like a, a third person shooter kind of game, that kind of thing. Um, so that's who you can go to if you ever want to uh, want to re-up on your basics. And then Komaki will is the, the character that you're gonna be meeting later when you learn your SP moves, those are your special moves. Um, he'll give you the tips, and you can always go back to them in your special items. 
this lady right here, this con woman, she goes, Geek, you touched my butt! And Cosmo's like, yeah, I totally- Oh, wait, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> and the con lady's like, he's molesting me, help some booty. And then, you know, the guy shows up, and he's like, Hey, man, I, you don't be touching my girl. And Cosmo's like, yeah, man, I didn't, I didn't touch her. Sham my type. A huge dude is just like, you touched the ass. And now you got now you gotta kick your ass. <laughs> you, you touched your ass, now I gotta touch your ass. And Cosmo's like, yeah, that's not how it's gonna happen. He's like, alright, then you pay me $10,000. And, and since you're Cosmo, you're like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Fuck you. And a huge dude's like, what? And he's like, all you're trying to do is extort some money out of me. Fuck you. Alright, well, you bastard. So now he's gonna want to touch his ass. Uh, huge dude's gonna touch Cosmo's ass, and uh, Cosmo's not gonna let him. Because Cosmo's that type of character. He don't roll that way. He's Chadzma. He touches everyone else's. Uh, I mean, he, he fucks bitches. That's how this works. <laughs> uh, but this is an instance of a side mission. I'll be tackling as many side missions as I possibly can. Um, I did not beat all of them correctly. I think I showed all of them off, but I didn't beat them all correctly. I didn't unlock the hidden boss. So when you do all 70... I think it's 72 missions, side missions, you will unlock a special hidden boss fight. Um, and this is the first one. This is the only mission in Chapter 2. Only side mission in Chapter 2, so we're showing it off. Um, I think you're supposed to run into it. But, uh... Yeah, so you just walk up, you beat up the huge dude, you kick his ass. Taunting uh, heals your, your heat meter. You taunt with R2, I think? It's not R2, it's L2. It's, it's, it's one of the, the twos. I can't remember which one I'm talking about. But he's not a very hard fight, and I'm just gonna kick him and push him down, and uh, he didn't touch my ass. That's what this fight was about, by the way, was Cosmo not trying to get his butt touched. So after you kick his ass, uh, he's gonna be like, I'm a little bitch, I would give up, here's my money, and he gives you 20,000 20, yen, and he leaves. Conley is like, ooh, you're, you're strong, ooh. And then she's like, yo, let's work together, eh? Come on. And Cosmo's like, yeah, I don't, I don't work with, uh, uh what, what, what does he say? <laughs> I, t I totally miss. I was gonna say wenches, like you, because wench is a funny word to me. But doing that mission gives you 200 EXP and 20,000 yen. It's actually pretty profitable. Um, and we get enough to increase my body, so we're gonna increase my body. Fuck okay, it, why not, right? I got enough. I got it. So uh, we we uh, have a better heat affinity and we have more ex uh, HP, which is really good. Um, also, the charge kick—I forgot to mention—you can kick heavy objects too. Uh, if you if you can't pick it up, sometimes try kicking it. You can kick it and it'll do damage that way too. Um, I I don't think I look up the mission name on this one, but if you go into your side missions, it'll tell you the name of the the mission. I I it totally spaced my mind. I forgot to do that. And we're gonna run over, we're gonna talk to Aoki, he's over here somewhere. I think it's that guy right there. Uh, I'm also following a guide, by the way. Cause I, cause this game can be really particular with the side missions. And sometimes your side mission has a, a choice. And if you pick the wrong choice, then you won't get the, the benefit of continuing the side mission and doing like a different side mission. Like there are some side missions, if you choose the wrong choice, other side missions get locked out. And then you can't fight the secret boss. Secret boss is in Theater Square, if I'm not mistaken. So there are two mm -hmm. secret bosses. You got one for doing all 72 side missions. This does not include the cabaret girls. And then uh, you get another side mission by collecting all 50 locker keys. And I totally did not go for all, all the locker keys. Uh, the locker keys are really stringent because um, you have to find them in specific locations. There's like 38 of them out in Kamarocho, and then like the remaining 12 of them are hidden in story designated locations. And I definitely wasn't paying attention in a lot of these story <laughs> uh, locations that they, I just didn't even bother looking them up. If uh, when you beat the game, you unlock something called uh, preview mode or premium box, and you can collect all the locker keys from there. Because uh, the ones that are locked behind the the hidden sp the the special story locations are being sold by a character somewhere in the city. I don't remember where. Um, if I remember correctly, at least from my guide. But we're gonna talk to the Aoki. He's he's letting us know about Stardust and, and a little thing that's going on. Tamora apparently like got fired or some shit. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, 
But now Aoki is is an informant, uh, and he's a reporter too. And Tamora just stopped doing that stuff. So we're gonna he's gonna tell me about Stardust. He's like, a, it's, it's on Takaichi Street, and it's a host bar. He's like, oh, bet. And then he's like, yeah, it happened about 10 years ago. Uh, over that time, it's made its way up to the streets, uh, back streets to the main street. Stardust seems to be more popular host bar around. It's like the best one. It's high classy. It's fancy shit. It's beautiful. The best bar around. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it became Donald Trump there, but fuck it. Uh, let's ask him about Serena. So he's like, yo, Serena's still around? I was like, yeah, it's still work. It's the same place. It hasn't moved. Uh, it's been closed. They're closed today. So, uh, Raina still runs the place. Yeah, yeah, she's alive. She's kicking. You know, she's doing, she's doing her thing. Only opens up to her regulars, though. So, like, Nishki, that's it. And you. You and Nishki. But, you know, you've been in jail. Nishki's, like, been around. Yumi's been gone. So it's just Nishki. It's just you and Nishki. Her and Nishki. They just show up. She eats all the food. He eats all the... He drinks all the drinks. She eats all the food. That kind of thing, you know. So let's learn about Nak uh, Nakamichi Street. And he's like, oh yeah, that racket. Uh, you know, you, I don't know exactly what's going on over there, but I heard a captain on the Tojo clan was killed over there. Oh, word, a captain? Yeah, yeah, you know, judging by the number of cops there, uh, the victim must have been someone kind of important, you know. To be honest, it reminded me of what happened 10 years ago with uh, Dojima. And you. It's like, who killed that guy? He's like, no one knows. Uh, but there's a rumor going around that it's another internal conflict. Since you've been gone, since you've been gone, <laughs> Tojo Clan's been a, a fucking a mess of places, so you know, go back to Taikichi Street and and uh, go to the Stardust. It's right across the street from Serena. I'm surprised you didn't see it on the way over here because there's a big fucking blue sign that says Stardust on it. So I was watching a video from Gaijin Goomba and he was talking about ninjas. And he was like, one of the things that ninjas wrote down is like, you know, stay high places because most people don't look up past like 40 degrees or whatever. And I was like, holy shit, you're right, I don't do that. I think that's what's happening over here. Cosmo doesn't look fucking up. And uh, by doing that, he missed the Stardust. This guy wants to kick my ass. Um, I'm going to cut out most of the random battles, um, which sucks because I show off a lot of the moves there, but I, I pull them off a lot anyway. Um, I don't know if I... Oh, I guess I did show off this one but for the most part I cut all the random battles that I, I, I bump into I just show you like who hit me and then like who bumps into me and then the aftermath and then if I'm just roaming around looking for something and I bump I just don't even show any of those off um, but yeah so these are pretty much the random battles you get like three to six enemies maybe seven sometimes um you get different styles of fighting um I see most of them throughout the game anyway, like throughout the story missions anyway, you got like sumo wrestler guys, you got boxers, you got uh, these guys, like just like tough guys who, I mean, people who think that they're tough, but they're not tough. <laughs> people who think they know how to fight, but they don't know how to fight, you know, like, like me, that kind of thing. Um, and then you're sitting in the location, there's one weapon flying around, you kick their ass all day. Uh, once you get into the higher levels, you you can end fights like that like really quickly. So, don't worry about the random. Like if you ever if you're gonna pick this game up, don't worry about it. About the random fights, they're not that bad. The only thing I don't like is that it takes a while for them to load in. Um, that's it. I think it's pretty much the main reason why I cut them out. It's like that's just a lot of time wasted. I could be showing you guys things. So here's Stardust. It's right here. It's the big one. It says Stardust on it. How'd you miss that one, Cosma? Hey, what are you doing? You got some business with our bar or something? I'm here to meet the owner, Kazuki. Hey, shithead. What family do you work for anyway, huh? I bet you're from the Shimano family. We don't need to be taken care of by some gangsters. What are you talking about? I'm just looking for Kazuki. I'm not Yakuza. You think I'm a fucking idiot? Look at you, fuckhead. You couldn't be any more Yakuza if you tried. So, what the hell do you want? What do you want with Kazuki-san? Relax. I didn't come here to fight. I just want to talk to Kazuki. Shut the fuck up! Just because you're a Yakuza doesn't mean you can boss everyone around. Even in this city. People do just fine. Without any help from the fucking Yakuza, they make an honest living. Unlike you. At least Kazuki-san 
has made a name for himself without any help. You fucking Yakuza! Don't fuck with Kazuki-san! How many times I gotta tell you, I'm not Yakuza. You retarded or just deaf? Fuck you! You're not coming in here, you fucking asshole! <laughs> Are you retarded or just fucking deaf? So welcome to the boss with Yuya, the Stardust host. Uh, he is a really fun boss fight. He's actually not that hard, quite honestly with you. Um, but see, it's quick. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I love how he opens up with the fucking crossbody. Yo, you really does not give a shit. So those pipes lying on the wall, those are actual weapons. I never realized them or like noticed them throughout the playthrough until like late, late in the game. Uh, they're like lances. Using like, like a big like spear, but he is pretty easy. He doesn't block too too much, uh, and when he does block, he, he, um, he can be the block can be broken. Uh, he uses electric sign right here to do a massive amounts of damage on him. You can pick it up, and when he gets up, if you have heat, uh, you can just break it over his face and call it a day. But just like that, that has been Yuya, Stardust host. Quick and easy boss fight. Damn! Yuya! What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry, Kazuki-san. But this Yakuza... You're from Dojima, Kazuma-san, right? That's right. My apologies. Fumazan told me you were coming. Please, come in. He was not expecting Cosma to show up. I guess no one knows what Cosma looks like. They just know the name. Cosma. They're like, oh no, they shit bricks. But they meet the man, they think they can take him. This man's like six foot two. Like 170 in pure muscle. He has like zero percent fat on him. How do you think you can take this man on? A literal giant. I'm sorry. I, I I thought you were. No, it's my fault. How do I begin to apologize? Forget it. Anyway, what's your connection to Fuma Oyobun? Well, Yuya, please leave us. Yeah, sure. Fuma-san has taken care of me since I opened this bar. Without demanding any money. He's taught me how to run a business in square one. Now, thanks to him, I have this bar. Fumasan came in the other day. Said he wanted to use this bar to welcome a very important person home, but in a secret sort of way. I see. So, where is Oyabun? I talked to him earlier, but he said he's tied up right now. You know how it is with the chairman. Chairman? What happened? Well, the third chairman of the Toja clan, Sarah, was killed. What? Around midnight last night. They still haven't found the killer. It was just on the news. What's going on? I don't know. Tojo clan families have taken to the streets, fighting one another for territory. Ten years ago, after Dojima was killed, many of his men went over to Fuma's family, and Fuma's family was unstoppable. Other families couldn't touch them. But a few years ago, someone on the inside betrayed Fuma, causing a divide. Who was it? It was... Hey! Get the owner over here, now! Oh, that seems like a, a ruckus. What do you think, Kazuki? Uh, they're from the Shimano family. Uh, they've been harassing us to pay them protection money. Leave it to us. All right. Well, if you say so. Can I watch? I'm gonna watch from the sidelines. I want to be. A, I want to be an innocent bystander in this situation. Talk to this guy. He seems important. We're just trying to have a little fun with that girls here. Mind your own fucking business. All right. Who the hell are you? You got business with the owner, not you. Fuck off. Alright. 
Yeah, I'll just walk. Excuse me, Kazuma-san. Way better than the picture. Well, well, well. It's about time the owner shows his face. You must be Shimano's men. Let me tell you, we came here to get some drinks and talk. You know, have some fun. Then this kid over here tells us to leave. Hope we don't have a problem. Dirty bastards. You came here to shake us down. No, no, no. We just wanted to have some drinks. Bullshit! Excuse me. Are you calling me a liar? I'm sorry. I have a very important guest here. Please, take this. This is unexpected. I really didn't come here for this. But if you insist... Kazuki-san, what are you doing? No! I can't let you pay them! These assholes don't deserve our money! Assholes? Is that what you said? You better watch your tongue, kid, unless you want it ripped All out! All right, I guess you're not an asshole. You're a piece of shit! You are so dead, you bitch! Young. The fuck? Who the hell are you? Kazuki. Listen, Yuya has a point. Don't pay these stupid fucks. They don't deserve it. Okay. Don't think you can get away with this, you little shit. Hey, fuck this place up! Let's rip this motherfucker down! You gotta admire Yuya. Uh, the man got his ass handed to him by Cosmo, and he gets up and he starts picking fights with another dude. And and he has the best, like, comeback. Like, Alright, you're not an asshole, you're a piece of shit! <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, genius. So here's Takahashi, he's uh, the main ringleader of Shimano's men. Uh, the man has a golf club. This. Oh, he doesn't. That's, that's the other guy. But don't worry. But you guys got help with Kazuki and Yuya. Yuya will just cross by the fuck out of these guys. Uh, don't worry about them too, too much. Just a mic stand. Okay, cool. I love fighting Stardust. Stardust just has a lot of interesting weapons. You can, you can pick up, like, plants. Beat people up with the plants and shit. Fucking fun. Um, and then... I mean, I don't know, dude. It's just good. But once you beat up the main guy, uh, you still have to take out the small dudes, so clear them out, and you'll be set. I just realized. You. You're the one who was sent to the pen for killing Dojima. <laughs> This is gonna be a great gift for our Oyabun. Kazuma-san! <sighs> Shit! It... It's Tanaka! Shinji? What the fuck are you doing here? <sighs> I don't think this is your territory, asshole. <sighs> Next time... I won't be so nice. It's been too long, Anaki. Yeah. Looks like you got a promotion, Shinji. Promotion? I guess. Kazuma-san, back to what I was talking about earlier. The guy who betrayed the Fuma family and caused the split. Yeah. It was Nishiki. Nishiki? With Terada of the Omi family from Osaka behind him, Nishiki was preparing to start his own family. The Omi family? Anaki, I'm the head soldier of the Nishiki family, you know. What the hell do you mean? Anaki, Nishiki's changed now. He's just not the same person that he used to be. That's why Fuma Oyabun's this concerned. So, he had me join Nishiki's family to see what they're up to. Shinji, Oyabun wrote me a letter, said that he had something to tell me. Is there any way I can see him? He's at headquarters until the third chairman's funeral tomorrow. He can't leave for any reason. And of course, there's the matter of the 10 billion. What are you talking about? I heard the 10 billion yen was stolen, straight out of the Tojo clan safe. Right after it was made known at a meeting, the chairman was killed. Oyabun. He'll be at the funeral tomorrow? Yes. Wait, you're not gonna go, are you? 
I mean, what if you're seen by some of Shimano's men? Kazuki. Yeah? Save your breath. He's not gonna listen to anyone. All right. So that does it for chapter two. We're gonna talk to Shinji and or Kazuki. I forgot which one. And uh, with them, talking to them brings us to the end of chapter two. Into chapter three. And uh, that, does about, that about does it for this video. So, we are ready. We're heading off to the funeral in the next part of Yakuza 2005. Peace.